Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Sofia, welcome. Vanessa, hello. Hello. Welcome. My teacher and classmates. Hello, hello. And Vanessa Alejandra too. David, Valmore. Welcome back. So let's begin with the class, right? To begin, we're going to start uh, with the platform again. Let's review the video of gesture. Vamos a repasar nuevamente el video. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I Something is wrong. Let me see. Okay. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Mm, the Do you ever have fish? No sé qué le pasa a la plataforma. Vamos a verlo en pequeño entonces. Sorry. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Oh, Mr. Madrid. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. No es tanto la plataforma, teacher. Es el internet. Está fallando. Upsi. Sí. Incluso, uh, incluso he tenido problemas en el trabajo por la cuestión de la conexión. Upsi. Ok. Bueno, pero ustedes me escuchan bien, al menos. Sí, lo escuchamos bien. Bueno, al menos okay. yo sí. Ok. Good. Vamos a intentar esto. Fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency for example if you would like to express that you take a shower every day 100% of the time that will be always you can use adverbs of frequency for that for example I always take a shower this means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. Ok, un momentito. Creo que alguien no me está viendo la pantalla. Voy a dejar de compartir y voy a compartir otra vez. Ahorita mismo. Ok. Majo, hoy sí ya puede ver la pantalla, Majo. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ok, good, good, good. Let's continue. Uh. Ok. Ese. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%. Usually equals 80%. Often equals 70% sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them 
and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. Teacher. The verb is eat. Hello. And the complement. Yo puedo is verla. Ah, ya la quito la. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned the of frequency after the subject. Sorry. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast. Pay attention sometimes. to the video, please. Concentration. You put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do sometimes I do no I never do now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own I would like for you to think about food particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast lunch and dinner and express how often Okay, that's the video, right? Let's read some commentaries. Let me see. Uh huh. I have some commentary here in this video. Uh, it says, I never eat chicken for breakfast. This is Herbert. I usually get to work early. Nice. I always pray when I get, get up. Mm -hmm. And when he, uh, I go to bed. Nice. Pray, right? Every night. That's it, right? In the case of David, for example, he always eat carrots because carrots are healthy, right, David? Yeah, <laughs> nice. Congratulations, David, for your graduation. Okay, then we have. Thanks. Okay, we have here another commentary. Let me see who is who is it. Ah, Mari. Mari says they are important when writing a sentence. Now, okay. Good. Now we're going to uh, complete some exercise we didn't complete yesterday. Um, let me see here, right?
Ok. Good. So uh, what we're going to do is to put in order the, the sentence, right? It says, I always listen to music after dinner, right? Uh, number two, please. Uh, Maho, can you help me? Number two. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. My sister usually visit friends on Saturday and Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, Mao, is that is that your sentence? It's usually or always? No, oh, sorry, excuse me. It's usually, right? Okay. Sorry. Usually visit friends on Saturday. That is your sentence, ma'am? Um, um, we sometimes... We sometimes no, 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 no. I mean, uh, number two, is that correct? Or there is something... Oh. O le hace falta algo. My sister usually visit friends. Eh, creo que está correcto. Teacher, Jacqueline dice que no puede ver la pantalla. Voy a dejar de compartir y compartir. Hoy creo que este internet va a dar dolor de cabeza. Sorry. Voy a poner otra vez la oración que me dio Majo. Gracias, ya puedo verla. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Sorry. Sorry, Vanessa, es que el internet hoy está dándonos dolor de cabeza, ¿ok? Está caprichoso. Yes. Hasta bigotes le salen a uno por estar ahí. Ok. Eh, my sister usually is it friends on Saturday. Ok, Majo, there is one letter that is missing, right? Una, hay una letrita que falta en algún lugar. You just tell me, Majo. It's just one letter, right? My sister usually visit to friends? No. Ok, no. remember, my sister is third person singular. Okay. So, we add an S to the verb, yes or no? Yes, visit. Yes, right. Visit, right? Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, David, piece number three. Can you help me, David? Okay. Sometimes we go dancing in evening. In the evening, right? Okay. Sometimes we go dancing uh, in the evening. We can say uh, we sometimes go dancing in the evening or we would dancing in the evening sometimes. But the most common form, the most common form is we sometimes. Remember, this is the exception. With the other, yeah. other so frequency, you cannot do that. You cannot say, uh, Usually my sister visits. No, no, no. You cannot say that. Only with something, right? Okay. okay. Good. Uh, now let me see. Who wants to help me? Vanessa, Alejandra, please. Can you help me with number four, please? They never. Go out for dinner on weekend, week, what days? Uh -huh, correct. Oh, sorry. They never go out for dinner on weekdays. Thank you very much. Luis, please, number welcome. five. Hey, hello, welcome. Hey, Luis, can you help me with number five, please? Okay, uh, my brother. Always goes goes to the movies on Sunday afternoon. 
Ok, my brother always goes to the movies on Sunday afternoon. Very good, thank you. Lorena? Uh, no, Lorena. Sofia, number six, please. Her grand, grandfather. Her grandfather. Usually. Usually. Take a nap. Okay. Um, Sophia, it take or takes? Ah, uh, it's take. Takes, right? Take. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A nap at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I always listen to music after dinner. My sister usually visits friends on Saturday. We sometimes go dancing in the evening. Look at the correct pronunciation of uh, sometime, right? Look, sometimes. Sometimes. Don't say sometimes, sometimes, some, mm, mm, sometimes. Evening. Va, va, va. Evening. Four. Repeat, please. They never go out for dinner on weekdays. Huh? Weekdays. <laughs> no, weekdays. You know, it's weekdays. Go out. Go out. They never go out for dinner on weekdays. My brother always goes to the movies on Sunday afternoon. My brother always goes to the movies on Sunday afternoon. Sunday. Don't say Sunday. Sunday. Good. Number six. Repeat please. Her grandfather usually takes a nap at 7 p.m. or at 7 o'clock. Her grandfather usually takes a nap at 7 p.m. Okay. Now, let's go to the next exercise. But I will take the, the attendance right now, right? Oops. Mm. This is new for me. Okay. And here, you're going to take any adverb that you want, right? You, you're going to invent the adverb. But before we go to that, let's go to the attendance. Uh, Sofia? Present teacher. Andrea? And Andrea Moreno? Daniela? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Eva? Present teacher. Ingrid Jamilet? Ingrid, si puede mandarme un, un mensaje ahí para ponerle la asistencia. Eh, Vanessa, <coughs> Vanessa García? Present. Jenny? Present teacher. Angie? Present. Balmore? Balmore, si me escucha y va en el transporte, mándeme un mensaje para ponerle la asistencia, por favor, Balmore. Me pareció ver a Balmore. Yes. ¿Verdad? Por está ahí conectado está. desde un inicio, sí. Sí, sí. Bueno, le vamos a poner asistencia, por favor. Con un minuto que se conecten y aparece en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ok, David. 
present. Juan Francisco. Kathy. Present. Kenya. Present. Lilian Saray. Oh, aquí está Lilian Saray. Thank you, Lilian. Okay, thank you. Eh, Luis Ernesto. Present. Margarita. Margarita Beatriz Mancilla. Mirna. Natalie. Presente, teacher. Ok. Oscar Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Eh, Saúl. Mr. Cruz Cruz. Vanessa. Present teacher. Lorena. Present. Lorena. Ok. Majo. Present. Ok, ok. That's it, right? Now, let's continue with this. Okay, participation for Sofia ready, participate. Daniela. Ahí está el, ahí está el mensaje de, Val, de Valmore. Ah, Valmore, okay, good. Thank you, Valmore. Thank you very much. So, Daniela, I need you to make this sentence, but you are going to introduce your, your other frequency, ¿verdad? Usted va a inventar el adverbio de frecuencia. Uh, you brother? Never, Never wash the this it or no? Wash the Con su hermano no le pasaba así, verdad? Siempre le ayudaba, le ayudaba en su casa, verdad, Daniela? Okay. Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero pues, por eso puso never. Okay, now, uh, but uh, Daniela, wash or washes? Uh, watch it. Okay, watch it. Correct. Because your brother is a he, right? Thank you, Daniela. Okay. Now, uh, Eva, please, number three. Uh, sería her father. Mm, always take. ¿Cómo se dice? Out. Out. <laughs> take out. Uh -huh, take out. De, no sé cómo se pronuncia la última palabra. Garbage. Garbage. Mm -hmm. La basura. ¿verdad? De garbage. Uh, but take or takes? Eva? Takes. Takes. Thank you very much. Her father always takes out the garbage. Nice. Thank you. Okay, next one. Uh, who is it? Uh, Vanessa Garcia, please. Um, your parents often go shopping? Go, yes. mm. go, 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 go right, shopping. Parents go is... shopping. Plural. Hmm? Sí, yes. Thank you. Your parents uh, often go shopping. Go shopping, right? Okay. Now, uh, number five, please. Uh, um, Angie. ¿Quién me estaba participando? Ah, Vanessa, ¿verdad? Vanessa me estaba participando. Okay. So, Jenny, Jenny? Jenny Maeda? You... Always cleans the house. Thank you. Como sabe. <laughs> Como sabe, huh? Good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, uh, let me see. Um, Angie, right? Angie, number six, please. Let me see. Sí, Angie me, me dijo que estaba presente. Angie, ¿está por ahí? 
Hello, hello. Bueno, entonces David, help me, David, number six. Okay. <clears throat> Your sister never plays soccer. Play or plays? Plays. Okay, thank you. And after David, we have um, Katy, please. Katy, number seven. And she? She? She always brush. Uh, brush or brushes? Brush. Mm. Because it's she, right? So brush or brushes, like wash, washes, say takes. So what do you think? Uh, brush, your teeth. Brush or brushes? Brushes. Brushes, right? Okay, thank you. Brushes. Here, um, en la última frase, Sí. 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 Your brother never washes the dishes. Her father always takes out the garbage. Her father always takes out the garbage. Your parents often go shopping. You always clean the house. Your sister never plays soccer. She always brushes her teeth. Okay. Now let's go to this material. Teacher. Oh, no. Yes. Por qué se le agrega el es? Ah, it's a rule, right? Uh, let me show you. Permítame. Ah, que no falta un video aquí en la plataforma. Ahorita le enseño. Permítame. No falta un video hoy en la plataforma. Me acordé. Can you eat this type of food? Este video. ¿no? Bueno. Okay, uh, there is a rule, right? In the simple present, right? Una regla en el presente simple que con la primera persona, I, que pongo I eat, I eat pupusas, right? Uh, we eat pupusas. You. It Talia it pupusas. Leonardo DiCaprio it pupusas. Okay, they. Sí, hay videos de donde salen diciendo que les gustan las pupusas. They it pupusas. Not, notice that here we don't need the auxiliar, right? En el presente simple nosotros no necesitamos un auxiliar, aunque esté en el presente simple, right? No necesitamos, I, para decir, I do eat pupusa. No, 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 es, no es necesario, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo tenemos el sujeto y el verbo. ¿Ok? Sujeto y verbo. Luego, um, tenemos, no, espérenme, creo que esta, esta regla está en, un, en una presentación. Déjenme buscar la presentación, así Estoy evitando escribir tanto. 
Vamos a ver. Regálenme un segundito. Um, vamos a buscar por acá. Apúrese porque el tiempo es oro. ¿Sorry? Apúrese porque el tiempo es oro. Le digo. No vamos yes. a poder estar regalando tiempo. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Simple present statement with... Uh... Sí, aquí está. Este creo que es. A ver, la regla. Sí, aquí está. Excelente oso, rápido lo llamo. Con esta presión que me está poniendo Daisy. Aquí estamos. Permítame, ahorita les comparto. Uy, cuánta presentación, aquí está. Ok, um, por aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Este. Mire, I keep track of the financial. Quiero hacerlo más grande para que se me ubiquen. Ok. Muy bien. I keep track. Aquí no usamos... ¿Están viendo la pantalla todos? Sí, sí, ok. Yes. Eh, pero con tercera persona se le agrega una S, ¿ve? ¿Sí? ¿Y cuáles son las reglas? Miren, aquí está. La regla número uno dice, este, esta presentación la tienen en su grupo, ¿verdad? Pero si no, si no se las mando otra vez, no hay problema. Dice eh, que a todos los verbos, cuando se trate de tercera persona singular, esto sí creo que lo voy a copiar. Bueno, al final me salió lo mismo siempre. ¿verdad? First person. I we second person you and you you singular and you plural third person plural de en todos estos vamos a poner el verbo make send help talk etcétera etcétera pero cuando hablamos de tercera persona singular, es she, he, it, Pedro, my brother. Y todo nombre que termine, que sea singular, al verbo le vamos a agregar una S. Entonces, en lugar de decir make, vamos a decir makes. ¿eh? ¿Ok? En todos estos, el verbo no cambia. Pero cuando, ya sea que vamos a usar la tercera persona singular, entonces le vamos a agregar esta. esta ¿Sí? Luego. Ok, teacher. Excuse me. Yeah. Eh, ma, y mi pregunta es, ¿y por qué en oraciones así tan pequeñas no se puede usar un verbo auxiliar? Es una regla. De, eh, porque estamos hablando del presente simple. Hay otros... Eh, estructura como el presente perfecto que sí se tiene que usar el auxiliar en todo o sea afirmativo, negativo, etcétera etcétera, pero en eh, tanto en el presente simple como el pasado simple eh, no se puede usar el auxiliar para oraciones afirmativas no se puede, es una regla, simplemente ni modo hay que seguir ok, uh, y aquí estaba la pregunta que me hacían, ¿por qué en guaches parece que decían ¿no? En brush, en dress, en fix, en todos estos verbos, ¿por qué le agregamos es y no solo la s? ¿Por qué? Porque la regla nos dice que si el verbo termina en cualquiera de estas letras, la s, la ch, la sh, la x, la z, le vamos a agregar una es, ¿verdad? una regla. ¿sí? También si el verbo termina en y, se la cambiamos por el latina y luego le agregamos a ese. Cry, cries, cry, cries, study, studies. Con la diferencia que si el, el, la guay va precedida de una vocal, entonces le, no se le cambia. Tiene que ir precedida de una consonante. ¿está? Y eh, esta forma irregulares también la estudiamos. I do, you do, they do, she does, he does. I go, you go, they go, she goes. He goes, it goes. 
I have, you have, they have, she has, he has. I am, you are, they are, he is, she is, it is, right? Esas son las reglas. ¿Quieren que les comparta esta presentación otra vez? ¿O estamos bien ahí con esas reglas? Compártala sí. porque no la tengo dicho. Vale, vamos a compartir. Teacher, pero agréeme antes. Ah, perdón. Porque a mí no me ha agregado WhatsApp. Ah, me me WhatsApp. ¿Todavía no lo han agregado? Ay, no, Francisco. Ok, Francisco, lo siento. No. Bueno, vamos a otra vez. <risa> Otra vez, porque... Ok. Y usted no le ha pedido. Oscar Francisco, usted no les ha pedido que lo agreguen. Dígales ahí a los chicos. Eh, tengo los la verdad, pues... En el WhatsApp aparece un número. Perdón, en, la el, que WhatsApp, me en el correo, ¿sí? Ah, o, o, o si alguna compañera. De... O siempre. O siempre. Uh -huh. Perdón, David, no le copié. Ok, así voy a decir. Vale, está bien. Perdón, o siempre, teacher, que le comparta su número, que le comparta su número y ahí está la invitación, ahí mismo, ahí está el link. En mi número telefónico. Ah, ok. David. No, no, y que oh. él le comparta su número a usted. Ajá, pero. Para enviarle, pero... El, para enviarle el link. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Uh, ¿Cuál es? Si quieren un mensaje, mándenme ahorita en el chat su número, porque. Eh... Tengo su nombre completo, pero no el número, para escribirle ahí a, la, a los compañeros del área técnica. Enviar Oscar Francisco. Ya se lo mando. Francisco. Targeta, ¿verdad? Agregar a WhatsApp. Y por motivo de no haberse le agregado, mandarle una canasta navideña. Muy bien. Ahora sí. Eso, excelente. Pero que no, pero que no incluya alcohol. No, no. Como no, como no incluye alcohol, porque a veces uno se, se golpea y es bueno echarse el, ¿verdad? Pues sí, mal dolor. O que le den todos los crímenes. Ok, te he dicho. Listen, this is the video, right? Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. So... Now, the exercise, creo que el ejercicio ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Así que no creo que haya problema con esto, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a con un material que les voy a compartir. Ups, voy a ir a menos. Algo pasó. Ahí estamos. Hoy sí. Okay, listen, please. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayunan ustedes? What do you have for breakfast? Here are some examples. In the United States, in Japan, and in Mexico. Listen, please. Page 60, exercise 5, snapshot. 
What do you have for breakfast? Listen and practice. The United States. Cereal with milk. Fresh fruit. Orange juice. Coffee. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Okay. Uh, what about you, Kenya? What do you usually have for, for breakfast? Sometimes I eat cereal with milk, mm -hmm. or sometimes I eat eggs, beans, and tortilla. And you like the tortilla more than the, than bread? Yes, I like. Okay, me too. I am tortillero too. Right. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Natalie, please. What do you usually have for breakfast? Do you have fish for breakfast? Or no? Natalie? Natalie? Okay, please, Oscar Francisco. Do you have fish for breakfast, Oscar? No. No, no. Yeah. I, I never say I never eat. I never eat fish for breakfast. Okay, never, right? And <laughs> so what do you usually have for breakfast, Oscar? Uh, I, I breakfast. I have a breakfast mm. um, with bread, with coffee. Coffee, bread? Black. Huh? Black, black coffee. Co co black coffee. Nice. And, uh -huh. and semitone. <laughs> big. The big, the, the bigger. <laughs> uh, the same like, uh, ayúdame a vivir, right? Okay. <laughs> right. Do you have exactly. beans? Do you have beans? It's, For breakfast? It's more in the dinner. Oh, okay. In the uh, dinner. In the dinner. Okay, good. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's continue, right? Now we have this conversation. Listen, please. Listen to the conversation. Peace for breakfast. Not mm. Eric. Listen, please. Page 61, exercise 6. Conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Good. Listen again, please, and repeat after the audio. Page 60. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting.
Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat. Well, I never eat. Eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Good. Again, repeat us to me, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast. Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. New things. Like you say, I never eat pata de sop sopa de patas, right? For breakfast. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let me see. Yes? Excuse me. Tengo una pregunta. En la cuestión de la pregunta que hace ella, o sea, con relación a fish for breakfast, eh, Ahí es la entonación el que estructura la, la, la oración para hacerlo pregunta, porque, o sea, no hay un marcador como un verbo auxiliar are o algo, o el verbo to be antes para señalar que es pregunta, ¿no? Ok. Eh, en inglés como en español se cortan las preguntas. Aquí es, do you have fish breakfast? Okay. Eh, sería algo así como tú tienes, bueno, aquí no puedo poner la otra, el otro símbolo en español, va. Tú tienes o tú comes pescado. Tú comes pescado en el desayuno. Oops. Ok. Creo que puedo poner la otra. ¿eh? Ahí está. ¿Tú comes pescado en el desayuno? Ok. Si yo le digo, David. Uh, David. ¿Pescado en el desayuno? Sí, si yo le corto esto. Mire, David. ¿Usted entendería la pregunta? En español, sí. Porque hay, quiero decir, no, hay, 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 hay marcas o sea, específicas. En pescado el caso de... en el desayuno. Solo la, la entonación le cambio. Oiga, pescado Ajá. en el desayuno. Ahora, ¿me entendería si corto esta parte? y Le digo, fish for breakfast. ¿Lo entendería? Mm -hmm. Dependería sí. de la entonación en la, en la, en la plática. Es entonces, correcto. Que... Es correcto. Y esto es súper, súper común. Esto es de todos los días en inglés, ¿verdad? Cortar oraciones, cortar oraciones y darle la entonación de preguntas, simple y sencillamente. Okay. Okay. Yo creo que en todos los idiomas se da, porque el, el, los idiomas no son tan, tan cuadrados, ¿verdad? ¿No? Que uh, tienden a tener ciertos cambios que hacen que sea más, más, más fluido, y más en el inglés que. ¿Nani? El, el, el lenguaje es bien fluido, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, please, eh, Vanessa, Alejandra. You're going to be Sara, and Lorena, you're going to be Kumiko. Please, let's practice the conversation. 
<clears throat> Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to drink new things. Okie dokie. Nice. Now, Maho, you are Sara, and Sofia, you are Kumiko. Ready? One, two, three, action. Let's have Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come come to my house. My my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish. Fries and stopped. Soup. Soup. Fish for fish for breakfast? That's interesting. That that's interesting. Sometimes we had a salad too. And we always had green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. And now look, this word is interesting. You can say interesting or interesting. Interesting or interesting. Right. Both are correct. Now the last, the last practice, please, Daniela. And Eva, right. Daniela, you're Sara. Eva, you're Kumiko. Ohio Gozaimas. Okay, okay, okay. Eva San, please. Sara. Eva San. San is a word that used to respect in Japanese. Like you say, Lorena San, David San. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, go ahead. I am Kumiko. Uh, let's say uh, Daniela is Sara and Eva is Kumiko. Sara, Sara. <laughs> Un, dos, tres, probando. Daniela, Daniela. Se lo solicita en la cabina, Daniela. <laughs> no, vaya, pues entonces me va a ayudar eh, Vanessa García, please. Ok. Ah. Ay, me estoy Ok. <laughs> no worry, <laughs> la entiendo, la entiendo perfectamente, no me preocupe. Come on, go ahead. Uh, Sara o Kumiko? Eh, Vanessa, your Sara. And Eva, Kumiko. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tranquila, compañera. Okay. Tranquila, tú puedes. Let's have, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for, for breakfast? That's interesting. In, interesting. 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 Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, uh, but I like to try new things. Okay, nice. Okay, listen, repetition. Style, style, style. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Green tea. 
green tea. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to this video. The use of frequency other, right? Listen again. Page 61, exercise 7, grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Okay. Now, oopsie, we have here, right, some examples of sentences using frequency other. Look, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. Okay, number two, please, Jenny. I... I would write. I hardly ever. Mm -hmm. I um, hardly ever. Eat. When I have the right snacks at. At work. At work. Very good. I hardly ever. Casi nunca. Como ando comiendo churrito en el trabajo, right? Nice. Next one, please, David. Number three. Okay. I sometimes. Eat for pasta. Mm, eat. Eat. Pasta, right? Pasta. For dinner. Good. And to finish, how I dinner with open family. Let me see. Uh, Kenya, please. Kenya, can you help me? Um, I often have dinner with my family. I open dinner with my family. Okay, good. Now we have this exercise. Let me see. Uh, listen, right? So Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat this food? Pasta, hamburgers, fish, eggs and broccoli. So you're going to say often, sometimes, and never, right? Remember is Megan. You're going to talk how often Megan eats those food. Often, sometimes, or never. Please. Page 62, exercise eight, listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay. Again? What looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. 
Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay. So, how often does Megan uh, have pasta? She okay. often eats pasta, right? Yeah. How, often, how often does Megan eat hamburgers? Never. Never. She, she never eats. She never eats. Never. She never eats hamburger, right? How often does Megan eat fish? Sometimes. sometimes. She sometimes eats uh, uh, fish, right? How often does Megan eat eggs? Sometimes. 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 She sometimes she sometimes eats uh, eggs. How about broccoli? Often. Often. She, she often eats broccoli. broccoli. She often eats broccoli. Okay, let me see. Uh, le voy a robar un minuto a los grupos. Solo quiero preguntar esto acá. Let me see. Okay, um, let me see. Kenya, do you <laughs> always eat breakfast? Kenya, do you always eat breakfast? Yes, I always eat breakfast. Good. Uh, Vanessa Alejandra, what time do you usually eat lunch? At uh, um, I usually, I usually. I usually eat uh, lunch at um, 12, 12 p.m. Okay, nice. And what about you, Oscar Francisco? Do you ever eat cereal for dinner? No, I never eat cereal for dinner. Cool. Thank you very much. I like it. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Good night. 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 Good night.